one year it has been since we launched a community world it is quite an exciting day to be honest i'm a bit sad because i didn't really have enough time to organize something massive to celebrate this uh, but there's a lot to go through but before all that i do want to say that because a community world was launched on 11 june 2022 it's been a year because it is our one year birthday of the map uh what i'm planning to do and i've already started setting up uh you know preparations is that in the coming week or weeks depending on you know uh how people are available uh my goal is to do some interviews with some of the core members who are you know behind this map like a lot of people just know me because you know it's my name but i kind of feel bad for that sometimes because <laughs> uh there's so many people who have put in so much time into this map and uh i would love to just interview them or talk to them about the map and in general about uh you know maybe the countries that they've worked on or different things um so look forward to that in the coming few days weeks you'll see some videos regarding you know the map makers who are behind this map <clears throat> and already if you haven't seen you should go to the document uh linked in the description a lot of useful stuff in here um you can already see the people involved and the map testing team who honestly have put in so much time so you'll probably see some of these uh in interview format soon uh, and maybe even some others but yeah huge uh list of people who worked on the map and honestly we couldn't be here today without uh the help from everyone so that's one thing look forward to that secondly one year 2.5 million plays can you like that's such a high number i can't believe how high that number is and almost 10k likes that is huge that is immense and uh you know what let's play some games and while i'm playing i can talk uh but Basically, when we started off ACW, it was, you know, something that's like I was just streaming on Twitch with like a few, I don't know, less than 50 viewers for sure, maybe like 20, 30 people. And the idea was that uh, I was thinking that it would be cool if we had a map, you know, because at that time, a diverse world was like the standard and it has been for the longest time uh but at 50k locations and people were getting a lot of repeats and we were like could be cool if we had a map with 100k locations uh that was pinpointable like a diverse world and you know also just enjoyable like no moving like we're playing right now uh but again 100k locations is no small amount and that's why huge you know props to wolf trekker for improved world he has over 100k locations and he's done it all by himself so that is you know something something really like uh unbelievable in my in my eyes but <clears throat> <clears throat> so i was like it would be cool if we just all <laughs> work together on a map and just put it together at the end and hey we have a 100k location world map but then uh i was really hesitant on starting something like this because you know it's so much work so much time so much effort putting everything together and then we want to make sure that the quality of the locations is high but you know at the time uh the response was just unbelievable for me like so many people reached out even those outside the stream like i posted some places that we're starting this project if anyone's interested please join us and yeah but i, I really have to give credit to uh everyone who was like showing so much enthusiasm at the start that's why ACW kicked off and it was a pilot project that never been like a community coming together making a map kind of project so we weren't really sure if and and we had a really ambitious target of 100,000 locations so we really weren't sure if it would ever work out but hey it worked out in the end and looking back 
We finished it in what? Like seven, eight months maybe? Let's see actually. I have it somewhere here. It took nearly seven months. That is really quick if I look think about it now because uh, 100k locations and we, we did so many revisions. Like there were so many countries, so many files that we saw and we were like, oh, this could be better. You know, maybe it's the panning, maybe it's been pointability, maybe it's you know it's too urban too rural too easy for moving too hard for moving uh we had a lot of you know back and forths we had a bunch of revisions on a lot of maps and looking back doing all of that in six months is mind-blowing to me i don't know how we did it but um yeah uh, and I'm happy that it has been received so well and people are playing it, that it was added to GeoGuessr, oh, okay, uh, to GeoGuessr tools mode recently as well for Master and Champion divisions. Um, and yeah, I can only hope that, uh, yeah, that the people keep enjoying the map. Uh, I often get messages from people saying they're really enjoying the map or even after the recent addition to duels, I got a lot of messages saying that they are enjoying duels a lot more after the change. So it's always really nice to read these messages. Uh, but yeah, again, I also feel a bit bad because it's not like I did it. <laughs> it's a lot of people who were behind it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was the one like organizing or coordinating it. And of course, I did some countries as well, but yeah, like uh, there are definitely people who probably put in more time than me into this project. So that's what I hope to do with the interview series. Uh, hopefully you'll get to know them more because they, uh, I mean, it's not like it's a big secret. Everyone knows the people who worked on ACW who are working on ACW right now. But uh, it's still cool, I think, to give them more spotlight and, um, you know, just be appreciative of the amount of effort they've put into this uh but yeah that was uh, uh that with the compliments uh secondly with acw updates uh now the thing is i think not, uh, like people who are pretty involved in geoguessa probably know this but those who don't um acw or just in general maps require quite a bit of maintenance and it is not usually that easy because google keeps breaking a lot of stuff also what is this is it chile it is um so how it works is <clears throat> let me go back to acw we have 100k locations and recently I think it was 50 locations per day that Google was breaking. And I don't want to go into all the technical details because um, it's more to do with how the map is made and all that, but I don't want to bore you with the details. But in short, uh, around 50 locations break per day. And fortunately, we have great tools from the community that help maintain, map, maintain maps like these. So. I don't have to actually sit and fix 50 locations by hand every day. That would be insane. Um, but yeah, so sometimes when playing, you might come across like a black screen or something like that. Usually it shouldn't happen because I try to, you know, do map maintenance as often as possible. But it could happen because, you know, as I said, 50 locations a day, I can't sit and update this every day. It's <laughs> It takes time. And... Because of that, oh, this is a cool location. I don't know where to guess here. It's like a hill in Texas or something. Or never mind, South Dakota makes a lot of sense. But yeah, um, so if you see black screens and, all, and people have been reporting those, that is also really nice if you didn't know. Uh, in this document, you have a link here for feedback. And if you go to that form, you can report bad locations and whatnot. So, for example, you go there and then you can add the location, give the issue with the location. Uh, or or you, here you mentioned the country and here you mentioned the link, whatever. But um, 
yeah, that way people keep reporting. So that's really nice. That's also helps us stay on top of things. Oh, and also I should change this description today, shouldn't I? Um, so yeah, thank you for those uh, who have been going out of the way to give us reports and whatnot. But if it's for a black screen, usually you don't have to worry too much because I will fix it, uh, you know, every week or every two weeks whenever I get to updating the map. So uh, that's that. <sighs> Secondly, we have been over the past year trying to update countries and the locations within countries because you know, it's been a year, there's new coverage, and we want the map to have newer coverage as well. So uh, there are a few countries that have been updated. There are a few countries that are, you know, the updates are in progress. So, yeah, I know some people reached out to me, but like Japan, Argentina, Australia, for example, are all on the progress. They'll be, uh, you know, updated soon. Indonesia as well. Uh, Nigeria. So, yeah. Uh, and... Again, as I said, it's not me doing all this. There are a lot of people who are involved with ACW and they are helping out with all this. So, uh, yeah, again, <laughs> this is not a solo project. This is a community project, a community world. That was the whole idea. And yeah, we can only be thankful that all of these amazing people are, you know, doing this in their free time because it, it takes a lot of time to make a map. <laughs> that is for sure. Um, so yeah, that's happening. And also, I know uh, there was a recent announcement just this week, earlier this week, that Germany is finally going to get coverage. And people have already been asking me when <laughs> Germany coverage will be added to the map, even though the coverage is not going to be out for another month or so. So once the coverage comes out, don't worry, there's already plenty of interest in map making Germany, so uh, you can best believe that it'll be out as early as possible. And we are already discussing a strategy on how we want to include Germany into the map. So probably what we'll do is we'll start off with a little amount, like within the first week, we'll add a few Germany locations. Then as time progresses, we'll keep on adding more. And then ultimately we'll have the set number of locations, whatever we choose to assign for Germany. So don't worry, uh, everyone's very excited for Germany, myself included, and all the map makers, all the players I know. Uh, so we will try our best to get Germany in as quick as possible. Um, and yeah, uh, also with other countries, as and when there are updates, we'll try and include them. Uh, Panama, for example, is supposed to get coverage, but we have no idea when the coverage will be released. We've seen cars driving around Panama. Uh, and then also we have seen Gen 4 cars in other countries like Israel or uh, what else did we see? Vietnam, we saw cars driving, but we don't know if that coverage will be released or when it'll be released or any of that. So, uh, And also... Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking me about India in ACW because uh, India does not have that many locations in ACW right now. Uh, yeah, it's like, what, 70 or something. But don't worry. Uh, ACW India is also under construction. And I know that there are also a lot of people who are concerned about India and maps because of the bad quality camera. But ACW is handpicked. And you know, for every country that's in the map, we put a lot of effort into making sure that the locations are of good quality. Even Germany currently, you know, with all the blur money and Gen 2 and bad coverage, if you look at ACW Germany, the locations are usually pretty good. Like, they don't look like the typical blur money locations. And I know Steve, who worked on this, put extra effort to try and make sure that they look as nice as possible. And for India, it's going to be the same. We're going to try our best to make sure that, uh, you know, like, yes, the camera quality is bad, but at least it'll be, like, decent in the locations. Uh, that's what we're hoping. Uh, you know, so you won't have, like, a wide blur or, like, very overexposed cameras. We'll try to avoid those locations. So um, that's why India will take more time as well, because it's, you know, more quality required for the locations. And... I can't tell you when it'll be in the map. 
Uh, same with all the other updates that I mentioned, you know, Australia, Japan, Indonesia, whatever. Because, as I said, everyone's doing this in their free time. And, um, yeah, this... Oh, actually, <laughs> speaking of Germany, look at this. As I said, you know, you, in Germany you have classic like Blomini and, you know, a lot of uh, like overexposed cameras and whatnot. But look at this location. This just looks like a normal Gen 2 location. It's like, this is what I meant. Like Steve has just put so much time into finding really nice locations for Germany. So this is sort of what we're hoping with India. Like, yeah. It's not going to be the best, but it's going to be the best we can do. <laughs> and um, I think that way it'll be nice because India is also a huge country and there's a lot of coverage in India now. So it wouldn't make sense to not have India coverage in the map. So yeah, those who have been looking forward to India, there is good news. And yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Coverage updates, map will be updated map maintenance map is being maintained and yeah it is being used for tools and i've received positive feedback so that's also really really nice and also those who have been reporting locations thank you so much because those reports are not going unnoticed uh, I, I might be slow uh, quite a few times to get to these reports because you know there's just, <laughs> there's just so many things in my life as well so this is also like uh, something I do on the side, uh, just like the others. But I appreciate the patience and I appreciate everyone's positive compliments. One year in and we are at 2.5 million plays. So yeah, amazing numbers, amazing. Uh, and where is this? Sumatra? or Because it doesn't really feel like Sula to me. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I and al also I saw that uh, a diverse world. Unfortunately, Mapper has given up on it. I can totally understand why. You know, as I said, like there are 50 locations breaking per day in ACW, and it's not any different for ADW. And uh, he's doing it all by himself. So. It's a lot of work for one person to be on top of all this. But that's the good thing with ACW. If something happens down the line and I don't have time for this map or I have other priorities or something else, then I could just, you know, someone else could take over. Uh, that's the good part of having a community world here. But yeah, anyway, I'm just talking about random stuff now. Thank you for watching. Um, as I said again, amazing numbers uh, and very much appreciated. Hopefully you keep playing the map and hopefully you are excited to see more um, in interviews, discussions, whatever you want to call it, uh, with the other map makers behind ACW. So I have to set up more interviews for that. So I should get going and I will see you later with uh, those interviews. So thank you for watching. Thank you for the support with ACW. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, enjoy ACW.